Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabuff.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today for the One Stamp at a Time blog hop, we were challenged to use new products from our spring mini catalog. And I chose to use the Bonanza Buddies along with the matching dies. I am going to whip up some adorable birthday cards for you and a little treat holder and give you a few tips about this suite of products. Let's flip the camera around so I can show you what I came up with. The suite of products that I'm going to be using today is called the Birthday Bonanza Suite and you can see some really adorable cards made here. It includes the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. And I just happen to have a sampler of this. Lots of coordinating colors, really, really pretty, bright designs, and these little animals are just adorable. Now, if you missed my video on Wednesday, I have the template that you can print these out and make your own designer series paper samplers. And what I like to do with mine is take it and put it in the back of my designer series paper so that when I grab it, I don't have to go through here to see all the different designs. I can just look and go, oh, this is gonna work for what I want. So that's a nice little tip. Like I said, there's a free download on my blog on Wednesday, and this is my blog address. You can head right over there at the end of the video. There's gonna be a link for you to click in the top right corner. That'll take you there and you can find this PDF file. It's a free download that you can then print out on white cardstock and make your own samplers to put in the back of your designer series paper packs. So besides the birthday bonanza, we have these adorable printed gusseted bags. You get a pack of 20 five of these for seven dollars and they're nice long bags of course you can trim them down and make them smaller but we're actually going to use this not only for our treat holder today but also as a layer on our card so that's going to be kind of interesting then we have the assorted pom-poms you get a let's see there's a hundred pom-poms in here for five dollars and fifty cents and of course they match the colors in the suite of products and then we have the Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon. I always love Ruched Ribbon. I just think it's a really interesting look. This is quarter inch wide. You get 10 yards of it. Now, if you turn the page, you'll see the Bonanza dies here. There's a really neat tag and some, um, what do you call those, banners? Is that what they're called, banners? Oh, I don't know what they're called but um, you know what they are. We're gonna be using those on our card. Here are all the stamped images. There's 22 different photopolymer images. So these are all clear rubber. I really love these because I just have an easier time stamping with them. And let's get to our project. I've got my cardstock layers here. So first of all, I've got a card base of Daffodil Delight, and this is four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. I've burnished it with my bone folder. Then I'm going to bring in a piece of basic black. This is three and an eighth by two and seven eighths. A piece of Whisper White. This is two and three quarters by three. I've also got an inside, whoops, an inside layer here that's four by five and a quarter. Now remember, you can find all of these dimensions on my blog, okay? So you'll find still photos, dimensions, and even a complete list of all the ingredients that I've used to make the projects, which is clickable. You can click on it, it'll take you right to my store if you're looking to purchase something. Then I've got a piece of basic black. This is one half inch by four and a quarter. I've got a white scrap and then some scraps of the designer series paper. So the first thing I want to do is talk to you about the cello bags. So I decided right from the get-go when I saw these in the mini catalog that I thought these would make a cute layer on the front of a card. Now one of the things that isn't so cute is that it's got the score lines for where the gusseted sides fold, right? So then I thought, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take these bags and I am going to put them in my paper cutter and I am going to cut them at four and a quarter inches. So 
we're going to cut this. And now what I'm going to get is I'm going to get a front piece here and a piece here. So I can get four layers out of one bag for the cards that I want to make. Now the next thing I need to do is get these gusseted sides off of here. And just in case you guys are in the market for a new paper cutter, I have to say this new one by Stampin' Up! is fantastic. I really love it. This would be generally pretty hard to cut bags like this, but you can see how easily that cut that. And I'm just cutting off, whoops, those gusseted sides. Just by cutting just a tiny bit here, it'll take them all away so I can use this for the front of my layer. And so I have one piece, and here's the other piece, and these I'm going to discard. So again, you can get four fronts or pieces like this out of one gusseted bag, and you get 25 of them in a pack. All right, next what I'm gonna do, I'm going to bring in the card base, and all I'm gonna do is put this right on the front. And then my dilemma was, how am I gonna get this to stick so I'm not gonna see the adhesive through it? Well, I pulled out my tape runner, and I decided just to put, oops, and I just ran out of tape. Hang on. I knew that was gonna happen because I saw that it was really low. I've got a refill here. And you just pop this out, take that cardboard out, and pop this in there, and we are ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back in here so I know where to put my snail adhesive. And I'm just gonna put just a little strip of it right there. Then I'm gonna match up my cello bag with my card front. And now I can see that I need to trim this off just a tiny bit. So we're gonna turn that over and trim that edge off so it matches up with the edge of our card. And that looks great, okay? Now I'm going to take my white piece, the two and three quarters by three inch piece, and I decided that I wanted to stamp this little fuzzy pom-pom looking image all over this background in various colors. And I chose the colors that are in the designer series paper, and it's easy for me to identify those because I've got them right here and I printed them on the bottom of the sampler. So first I'm gonna take my Bermuda Bay and I'm just gonna go around and stamp a few of these little pom-poms. I'm gonna bring my chamois in, clean that off, and now I'm gonna come in with some Grapefruit Grove and put some of these in here. Now you wanna make sure that they're going off the edge because you want these to look really random. Clean that off. Now I'm gonna come in with some Mango Melody, and of course you could use as many colors as you want here, but I just wanted this to be really bright and cheerful and fun. This is a fun stamp set. You wanna make sure that you're making fun cards with it. And now I've got Coastal Cabana. Maybe one more right there. That looks good. Okay, let me get these put over to the side so I don't dip my card in them. Now I'm gonna take this black layer and my liquid glue and add these, or adhere these two together. Got a thin 16th of an inch margin around this. We're going to put some dimensionals on the back. And I've been using up all my edges. I think I've gone through like three cards of edges. I always kind of set those aside. And make sure you're using those edges because they work just as well as anything else does. Okay, we can put this right, well, I think I'm going to, I jumped ahead just a tiny bit. I wanted to put 
this little half inch strip of black in here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue right above that little bag layer. I'm gonna put this in here. Just like that. And then I'll trim this tiny little bit off from the back. Now I can add this layer. This is fun. I think this is a really fun card. And now you can see how I've covered up that snail adhesive that's underneath here so you can't see it. So that's kind of what my plan was. Now I'm going to bring in some of the designer series paper here. I've got three different patterns and... Oh, and I see my hair is sticking to my card. Isn't that great? And my sweater fuzz. <laughs> yeah, fun stuff. I'm going to die cut this banner in each one of these designer series papers. And I will be right back. Oh, before I leave, I'm also going to take this designer paper and I'm going to cut out one of these little panda bears. And the dies fit right on here. Not only do they fit on the designer series paper for the bird, what is that thing, a toucan, the lion and the panda, they fit, they fit here on the stamps and they also fit on the designer series paper. So I'm just gonna die cut one of these pandas with the banners and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all of those die cut. There's one more thing that I need to do. And I've got a scrap of Whisper White here. I am going to stamp the little birthday hat. And there's also a die to cut that out. I'm gonna die cut that. And then as long as we're die cutting again, I'm gonna bring in this, whoops, this pattern of paper. And I'm gonna take this big tag. I'm gonna die cut it on this designer series paper, I'm also going to die cut it on some vellum cardstock. So I'll get this all done, I'll be right back. Okay, we've got the little hat here, and we've got this tag, and I'm gonna have to decide which side I wanna use, and then a vellum cardstock. And I love that this has the stitching around the edges in it also. Okay, so my big idea here was to take my Stazon ink. You need a permanent ink to be able to stamp on the vellum. Well, you are. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this greeting on the tag. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Oh, that turned out great. And then again, I'm going to clean this off right away. Close up your stays on. Stays on is a very fast drying ink. And then my idea was to put this over the image. So you've got your little greeting there, or we could use this side. Gosh, I don't know. I like both of them. I think I'll stick with this bright side here. I'm going to grab some of the ruched ribbon. And let's see. I've got, where'd my little bag? Oh, I cut that bag up, didn't I? Let's get some of this out of here. I'm gonna grab one of these cello bags. And I've got these really cute little Bermuda Bay M&Ms. Um, uh, I was up at Mall of America and they have a big candy store there. And that's where I got these at. But you can buy them any place you can buy bulk candy. Okay, so this is gonna make a cute little treat. I'm just going to take the vellum and put it over the printed paper. Put that ribbon through here and tie it around my little cello bag in a bow. That's going to be my little treat that I can give with my birthday card. I think this would be really cute if you have somebody going to, like kids going to a birthday party or maybe a teacher's birthday at school for the kids. Look at how cute that is. And let's see if I can get that bow. There we go. Now, if this is a little big. I don't want it to stick up that far, so I'm just going to cut it off. 
And there we go. Isn't that cute? Yeah, really good idea. Good way to use this tag. Okay, let's get back to our card. So here comes our card. My idea with this was to take these banners that I die cut and just have them run kind of back and forth over our stamped layer. That looks really cute. Like I just kind of laid it down and it's like, yep, that'll work. So add glue to the backs of these. We'll start right here. I'm just putting a dot of glue on three of the flags. Oops, I think I better put one right up here because we're going to kind of crisscross it a little bit. And I'll do this one. And last but not least, this one. There we go. Now, this little guy, here's his hat. I'm gonna glue his hat on his head. Oh, I think I should, I think I should glue my um, little guy down, so hang tight. I've gotta find my mini glue dots. Here they are. I'm using mini glue dots because I know they're gonna stick really good to this cello bag layer. those on there. Here comes my little panda. Where did his hat go? Oops, I almost stuck my finger right in the glue. I forgot I put glue on there. Here comes the little hat. Now I'm going to grab another glue dot. I'm going to cut this off because it's kind of getting in my way. There we go. I put this around here so that my paper doesn't go all over the place. Now I'm going to grab one of these pom-poms and I think the little orange one is going to be perfect. I'm going to stick a glue dot on there, maybe, I'm just going to take your pick tool. There we go. I'm going to put that right on his hat. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Now, the one other thing that I was thinking about is to help hold this paper down, I can now put some adhesive underneath my panda. So I'm just going to lift him up a little bit, throw some adhesive right under him. Now I know this layer is going to stay in place good. Okay. Then we're going to bring a whisper white scrap in. Where did my words go? Right here, we've got this that says, let's celebrate you. I'm gonna stamp that in Bermuda Bay and bring in my classic label punch. I love that this punch fits perfectly on here. Some mini dimensionals. Maybe, there we go. And I'm going to put this right here, right on the front. Isn't that cute? Okay, now we have to do the inside. So I am going to take that same greeting that I put on the tag. Um, nope, I think what I'm going to do is just stamp the happy birthday. So here comes the happy birthday with memento ink. And I just, look at, I just got ink all over my fingers. Hang on. That's why we have baby wipes. Then I'm going to bring in some of these presents. I just thought this would be fun. Um, I think I'll stick with the Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to stamp a present right down here. And then we have this cute little bow that fits right on there. Stamp that. That's a cute little decoration for the inside of our card. Here we go. And now 
let's get some of this stuff out of the way. I've got some more cards to show you. Here's our cute card, our adorable little treat that we can give with it. And then we've also got, let's see, there's a candle stamp in here. Let me grab the stamp set. Here is, that can be a present, okay, so you can put um, a bow on it. I think this bow fits that when you put it sideways, but it can also be a candle. So I took that candle stamp and I stamped it in Mango Melody, Coastal Cabana, Grapefruit Grove. I used Daffodil Delight for the little pom-poms, which are the fire on top of the candles. Then I took, I don't know if you can see this, but I took a little bit of Wink Estella and I put it in the center of each one of the flames, I guess is what I would call it. The lion is super cute because he die cuts in three pieces. So I've got some dimensionals under his head here. And I use that ruched ribbon. All the dimensions on this are the same. And here I took and stacked two presents and added the hat with the little pom-pom stamp on the top of it. Isn't that cute? Okay, I've got one more here. This is adorable. This is, of course, the toucan bird. I actually stamped my happy birthday on the card front and then put the cello bag over the top. I've got one of the banners here and my inside. So as you can see, this is a super fun stamp set. Now, what do I envision with this? I think that I am going to be making up some more of these cards and this is gonna make a great gift for the young moms in my life, okay? Because moms need birthday cards, their kids are going to birthday parties, these are perfect. I can make up a whole set of these and give them as a gift. I could give them to Anna for Molly to use. Um, Haley's having a baby in April, so she's gonna need little kid birthday cards at some point. That would make a great gift for her too. Or, if you know people that have grandchildren that are, you know, under 12 years old, this is a great gift for them because they will not have to go out and buy cards for their grandkids. They can give them these. So keep in mind, giving your cards as, gift, as gifts is just like the best gift ever. I just had one of Haley's high school friends stop over. She's doing a fundraiser for... Um, our Menasha basketball team in a couple weeks and she always asks me for a donation of a box of handmade cards and she said they are a hot commodity at the fundraiser so that's really exciting and I'm so glad that I can donate to that now remember this is celebration Another one of our products that matches this whole suite is the Metallic Baker's Twine and Sequin Combo Pack. These go along with all the colors in the Birthday Bonanza. You get two different spools of Metallic Baker's Twine as well as these really fun sequins. You can get this free when your order is over $50. For every $50 that you order right now until the end of March, you can choose a free item out of our celebration brochure. There's a whole bunch of great things in here. You can get entire stamp sets. You can get stamp sets. This is a level one, meaning $50 purchase will get this for you for free. $100 purchase will get you the matching dies that go with it. Here's that, um, combo pack right here. We've also got some beautiful designer series paper. Another stamp set. Here's a card kit. This has been really popular. I've noticed a lot of my customers are getting that as their free item. Then we have the Golden Honey designer series paper that goes with the Honey Bee suite, uh, or I should say stamp set that's in the spring mini catalog. Here's another sentiment set. We've got this set, and then you can get the punch to go along with it. That's really pretty. This is another combo pack. You get the stamp set and this beautiful embossing folder. This is a $100 purchase. You get both of those. You can choose it as your free item. And then when your order goes over $300, you can get this little ladybug stamp set for free. And just a heads up, we have some coordinating products coming out in February 
there's going to be a set of framelits to match this set. So have yourself get some friends together, have them place an order with you, get it up to $300 and you'll get this for free. This has been super popular also. Now, if you're a serious stamper, you should get a discount on your products. You can join my team as a discount shopper. You're going to get a 20% discount on all future orders. You get to order a kit. The kit is anything you want to be in it. It's not like predetermined products. You get to choose $125 worth of products for only $99 and you get free shipping and you get a paper pumpkin kit that's worth $20. You're also going to get this little mini trimmer for free. Any stamp set of your choice that you could purchase otherwise and this gorgeous pack of designer series paper. This is a sampler of most of the paper in our spring mini catalog and our celebration. This is the celebration paper right here. So absolutely beautiful. You get all three of these things for free when you become a discount shopper and order that starter kit. And with every $50, you get to choose a free item, and this is one of those free items that you could choose. I think this would go great. Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna take up any more of your time today. Please make sure you head over here to my blog so you can join along on the blog hop. Everybody's going to be using new products out of the Spring Mini catalog. We're going to have a great selection of different ideas, I'm sure. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And one of the biggest, bestest things you can do to help me out is to share this video. There's a share button on YouTube. Share that. And that just helps me a lot reaching out to more people. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. I hope you enjoyed these projects. Go join in on that blog hop. Bye-bye.